วาราวาบาอาบาบาบาบาบาบาบาโอ้ซาดูนอ่ะเฉยเดี๋ยวจะเปลี่ยนทิศ I keep forgetting about tits. I don't. I haven't streamed much lately, so I keep forgetting about stream stuff. <laughs> It's coming up. Just hold your horses. A little hard to see. There. Let's see. There we go. Ah. Mm. There's a sand hippo in the chat. Oh. Or the sand hippo got away. I guess. Never mind. Uh. Let's see here. I shrunk the font down because <laughs> I was getting sick of editing my code at. But fuck high. I don't know. It might not be legible anymore on my stream. Where's she? Can people read that? Probably not. What's that? Oh, my coat. Of a lamb thing still on. Fascinating. Butt fucking. We're butt fucking. All right. Edit account information. Um.
something's not right. Set value. Why is... All right, we bind it. Okay, it's bound. The listener is now bound. All right. Why would it be back at on creep? Oh, it's because it's there. Okay. Return false. Hell no, nah, Java. This isn't Java, it's Kotlin. <laughs> And Java. Oh no. I don't I'm supposed to say I banned people for language elitism before <laughs> people really sometimes people get really get aggressive on that shit. Jokes once in a while are always appreciated, though. I think every language deserves a good humor. Java does have a lot, a lot of shittiness to it. <laughs> oh. Hello world in Python. <laughs> oh no. It's okay, let's cheat. That just means you can work on the Kanojo server. Which was written in Python, not because I wanted to. Oh. Listen, that not only happened, would happen a for loop taking two years for one cycle, that would only happen if Yonder A dev was working in uh, Python. Okay, so I never actually checked. I only checked if the email was empty. Okay, um, well, the email has got to be, okay, I made a, I made a boo-boo. Well, it's a good thing I'm testing everything before just shipping it out, I guess. Yeah, it would. Probably wouldn't finish his first loop. Okay, so... Hey! <laughs> I'm willing to not optimize that Boolean logic. <laughs> we don't always need to optimize our Boolean logic. All right, we know the listener's working now, at least. 
Wait, that means that the listener wasn't working and it's still fucked up. That's like an extra level of my fucking issue. Ah, how lovely. Isn't it better to use Android Studio? That's what I'm using. <laughs> This is Android Studio. This is the ride. <laughs> that fuck? Ugh. She didn't like that. Android Studio is based off IntelliJ. <laughs> um. Hello, Mr. Peanut. How are you, baby? My up. Oh, my baby son, Peanut, is here. Uh, you want to go up on my shoulders? Or you can go on my the back of my chair. That works too. Yeah, this is my app, by the way. Bam, waifus. Waifu app. You scam. Are you caught on my chair, bitch? There is no clawing my chair. You've already destroyed so much of it. Oh. Oh, he's got Nancy. <laughs> All right, uh. Well, I'm making, uh, it's, shit, um, it's basically, you should put, you're gonna scam barcodes with your phone, and, uh, you can, there's no barcode in the little thing there, but you scan a barcode, and it will generate a, a waifu for you, and then you can date the waifu. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. It. I was bringing it back without you anyway. <laughs> well, with she and chat, I met through this making, working on this app. Where do you find the barcodes? On products. Like, just product barcodes. Like a book, a soda can. Not any barcode, they have to be product barcodes. No, no QR codes on my watch. It's kind of weird that like I can just kind of like roll around this like it's a game. okay you may not be able to bring them back but oh, I found the closest thing to a barcode in here <laughs> wow 
Why didn't I go with Unity? Because the original thing wasn't made in Unity. This game was made back in uh, 2000, I think, 12. And uh, it went under in 2016. So I took the APK file that was on the Google Play Store, I decompiled it, and then I started building it. I started building it back up, and some crazy nut job was reverse engineering a server for it at some point, so that gave me a very good foundation for uh, how it, the server side, I guess. So I've been slow. Decomp I have a really good decompiler for Java <clears throat> that helped a lot. I think it's called JADX. I have it somewhere. Every once in a while I tried I decompile it again. Surprisingly, nothing was obfuscated with the app. In fact, there's dead code in here. Even there's like straight up classes that aren't used anywhere. Um, I have two D tools. No, that's not what I want. What did I put it under? Yeah, it's J A D X. It's really good. Uh, decompiler for Android apps. I like it. It got me names. It got me, uh, I've tried other apps. I'm not always lucky. Um, I am not certain, but I suspect that the version of, uh, live 2d that was used for this was custom. And so I may have to back in way old and back in like 2016, I was able to download the last version of Java. Give you Scion, what? I mean, it sounds like you need BHA skins emulsion. Uh, if you want that, let you. It didn't pull. I did it. It might not have saved my. <clears throat> Execute modify task, modified email equals. I don't think I ever saved to the internal database the email and password updates, which would make things useless. Eventually, I'll probably have to re-implement Live2D manually. I'm not looking forward to that. Because the decompiler did not like Live2D. It real I had a version of the Live2D library that I decompiled with a lot of manual help, and it did not... It did not work well. It was, the animations were very broken and shit, but like there's, I know for a fucking fact there was gyro operations. And it might have just been the accelerometer, but there was something and I'm going to get it back. Ooh. 
Well, it's a good thing you have uh, so much stamina. So what does not work now? Well, I had to overall like account security because it was all in plain text and it was like sending your password back and forth like a motherfucker even though it didn't need to. Um, there is a supposed to be a date system, but it doesn't really work. And like, they're supposed to like change outfits and stuff. This is in raw text. <laughs> it needs to be like formatted. So uh, there's there's quite a few like the actual shop system doesn't even work either. It does because the way it works is that. So you see how these ones say just friends. I don't have any that are actually my Kanajo, and I don't know why that more button keeps showing up. It should just condense, but. There's something going on there. These just friends ones aren't mine. They're it's been scanned by someone else already. So I have to, so if I interact with them, you'll notice that the bar goes down. If I get it there, that bar down enough, it, she then becomes mine instead of uh, moccasin limes, moccasin limes. So, the goal is you have to steal uh, and defend your uh, waifus from others. So the dates, right, like when you send them on a... You send them like to a movie or I think other date options were like cru or like cruises and stuff, but like the menu's all fucked up because of stuff. Eventually like that holds the Kanojo like in a different screen. So if people who would be have them as just friends, if they were to go, they're no longer there. So then I no one can take them. And there is eventually a wedding ring item that lets you keep them permanently and no one else can take them. However, it was a freemium game and I'm trying to figure out how to make balance. I'm going to have to figure out how to balance a freemium economy into just a free to play economy. <laughs> So that's going to be fun. Economic rebalancing. <laughs> but right now I'm trying to uh <laughs> What about the copyright part? Uh, <laughs> it's abandonware? <laughs> I mean, they sure don't want... They sure aren't making new Barco Kanoja stuff. Hell, the company doesn't even acknowledge it as part of their backlog. I do... <sighs> 
Thank you for lurking, Echo. There is the possibility there is a copyright owner still. I don't know who they are right now. Any attempts, I have made attempts with uh, the previous developers to get in contact, but mm, I have been met by oh, shit that says we are no longer continuing the game. Hi, Sola. How are you? How's everybody doing? All right, so I need to save shit to the database because I clearly didn't think to do that. So update and close, is that only used in the case of success? User sign up, user. I, I was talking about the copyright stuff. On the SMS. Wants the code success. Yeah, which is no one's property. And that she will kill anyone that smites them. Spites them? Is that the right word? I don't know. Hmm. What up? It's on the Smith's work. Hmm. Is on the Smith's just part of That's annotation. Uh, go to super method. Part of dialogue interface. Uh, I think what I'm going to do instead is I mean, they ain't send me a cease and desist yet, so. I think at some point I'll have to add like a little document saying that this 
game isn't associated with its original developers or any of the sponsors that came with it because there's axe body spray shit that came with it so some outfits have axe body spray logos on them which i suppose i could maybe photoshop out but i don't i don't know if i want to fuck with the original design that much Oh god. That one eye is kinda of bugging me. Alright, the tear duct, I guess. Ugh. And maybe I just have a straight eyelash. Rubbing it probably isn't helping it. Ah Um Okay, so Oh, come on, man. Am I doing this right? Or do I have to like put that in parentheses? What's your issue? Set email, get email. What's your problem? Fucking can't you say this is when you see me? Can't one being a little bitch. I still haven't added a thing that lets you log out. Would be nice. Ah. <sighs> All right, now I actually saved the damn shit. All right, let's uh, rebuild this thing.
All right, we have solved that problem, so we don't need the debugger for that anymore. Update response is null. You wanna wanna talk about what happened there? Can I ask what about that was n a no what? No point, except you what the fuck are you talking about? Okay. Oh, it's pissed about something. Let's just restart it and see what happens. I think I might have pissed it off. Um, well, something I'm noticing. I'm starting to question what I tried fixing all this fucking code and I think it came up patchwork of broken pipes. I'm not saving. Huh. Well, that might help if we actually set modified email to something. What a concept. Um. Um... Have the email. So now, modified email would help it. Okay, so, um...
Oh, good night. Good job, Chopper. Good night, Tominoski. Thank you for hanging out. Hope you have a good night. Okay. So, we need to make sure that password's even... even entered. What's your problem? It's not equal no. How why is that such a such a controversial statement? Oh. He went to put went to see. I should be brewed tea. Would have been nice. I would have gotten sleepy, maybe. I can't be getting eepy weepy. Okay, so we put that around. All right, let's continue now that I've realized my mistakes. All right. Um. Let's launch it again. Dragon 2. <sighs> oh, wait, let's uh, try changing. <sighs> Man, reading plus size elf. Shit's hot. And also makes me want a bunch of french fries and also makes me want to work out. <laughs> uh, Alright, 
let's try changing the birthday. Alright, restart the app. Okay, that looks like it's working. Let's kill it on that one. Let's run it on that Android. Run on a different device, see if we can log in with the new account uh, email. The device has a newer version of this application. What? I must be because I did the HT. I must have been sold the HTTP version, HTTPS version. Uh, huh. Should I make the HTTPS versions different? I don't know. Hmm. I may or may not be reclining. Ugh. All right, uninstall the existing one. I suppose, yeah. <clears throat> Anyone that watches these streams could easily just figure out how to join the th stuff. Um, honestly, I'm not too upset about that. Does that still crash? Huh. Mm. On the boot task. Verify <sighs> user.
Hmm. Okay, so the very it's going through um I need to be better about thinking out loud again. I think I used to do better about it. Okay, so it's getting called on start. Um I'm going to venture a guess that it's going to work the second time. It did not. Whoa. All right, what part's the null? It's not very logged in now, is it? Um, so I'm gonna no pointer exception. Okay, um... Well, this is new. Okay. I broke the title screen, that's fine. How did I break the title screen? Well, it's trying to sign in and there isn't something to sign in with. That might be part of it. Um. Verification, return verification. What are we doing with this verification? Response equals boot task. How do we call verification if it's response? Just leave it as response. It's so much clearer. Response. Code successful, else. All right, now I did convert this to Kotlin, so it's a bit more null safe than it was before. So if I get rid of null safety, Category list is not initialized. That's your, that's what you're choosing the bitch about. Where's launch activity?
你以为自己完全列车了？你完全列车，我们 Project Category 的四个分线。What? I suppose that makes sense. All right, but um. There we got verify user. I'm going to say fuck you to putting it there because it's kind of a dumb shit place. I'm going to say put that shit right there. What the fuck? What does the server return for verify when it's not right? Returns a 404 or 400. Mm, so it's trying to, but it can't manage it. Okay, so... I mean, yeah, Kenosha.gojo.com is a place. Um, well, it's not crashing at least. What doesn't it like? <laughs> well, I guess we'll find out.
Um, does it happen to say what the value is? Says it's size Z equals zero. Okay, um... Oh! Hey, you cool, what's going on here? Okay, so why is the category list empty? I wasn't running into this before. Well, it says code 401. All right, product category list code 401. If ID is not in session, Code 401. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you, Echo. I spat in coffee. Okay, so code 401. It's not, There's no ID in this session. That's why it doesn't want to supply it. What? Okay. <laughs> um, ah. Thank you. <laughs> what, where should I? Put the product category list initialization. And why is it being so pissy about it now? Why you gotta be so pissy, me? <laughs> it's the wrong, it's the wrong class. Owie. Okay, where's the thing? This. Gimme. Mm. Well, wait, maybe it's kind of mm hmm. Hold on. That's also a dumb place to put it. All right, there. I'm satisfied with putting it there. Uh Yeah, slutch.
What's your problem? You got something to say, yellow text boy? Little piss piss poopy boy? Hide weight? I can hydrate. I get some water. Hey, look. Shit. What? What the fuck? What the shit? What the shit? <sighs> Unable to start activity. Wait, in a property has not been initialized. Oh, I didn't realize that uh, we were dealing with little bitches. Um, uh, okay. Fuck you. Fuck you. Wait, I actually needed that one. Um. How do I set the binding? Ah. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> When was the last time I ran this code? Binding equals... <sighs> Dot inflate. Oh my god, it's inflation. Whoa, we're inflating. This is weird fetish shit. This well. Layout inflator. Whoa, dude. Whoa. Can we can we do this on Twitch? Whoa. Gamer, I'm not sure. Gamers, I'm not sure if this is Twitch compliant. Whoa. I hate, I hate this voice, this character. He sounds punchable. Gamers. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Huh. Where was that gamer? Login activity. Did I also convert that to Kotlin? All in this update? God damn. Man, I don't know how I'm going to stay up for a 24-hour stream. I'm going to sure as fuck try. That's right, on Saturday, I should probably just, like, announce, since there's a good amount of people here on Saturday. Mm. Me and the rest of the Midnight Monster District are going to be uh, doing a 24-hour charity stream for Children's Network Hospital. Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. So if you guys would show up to 
any of our streams and give money to children that are dying or need help please do that oh thank you it's going to be saturday at a uh, noon central 10 a.m pacific which would be 1 p.m East Coast. Yes. And do math. So come on in and give a how do you do? Huh, all right. I think that solves it. Why is that there? We well, used sure to have a lot of bitch about what the hell? I don't get it. Why is the loading thing stuck on? I love this song. All right, so I added the visible thing. I don't know where that would have gone. Unless I'm just that stupid. Hey, it's not there. Okay. Mm. 
Uh... Why is that there? Why did I put that there? Hmm. <sighs> All right. Now barcode Kanojo equals that because fuck having to type in things multiple times. What? I'm going to go back to this one and say, hey, what the fuck was the name of this user again? I did set it to Dragon 2. Okay, we're going to close that before... I dox myself. If only I could actually remember the debug. Current passwords did not match. Okay. Well, I'm glad that's working. Would the local database have a storing of the password to even match? I don't even know. I think that might cause a conflict because it's going to try to match against what's on the local database first because it wouldn't. Ah, uh, alphas. The destructive changes in the alpha builds. Nice. Let's do this. Okay. That's nice. What's your problem?
Okay, so I'm taking this to mean user equals null. Which makes sense. <sighs> All right, well, um, Oh, it's a good thing I'm testing all this. Only this updated the server automatically. Uh, what are the parts of a response? Code message. Response parser. Code. <sighs> okay, well. Uh... Where do I deal with the 404 appearing? Might be in base activity. Response. Uh, 
Uh, sometimes Co gets renamed to Reason, I think. I think I would put it under alert. Um, okay. Um, It will look Okay, so that one thing that I did is just wrong. Okay, um... Um, okay. It's a parasect. Oh, should know that Pokemon. Okay, um... All right, alerts. Um... Warning, um... What the fuck's a spupa? Have I not been shuffling my shit? I haven't. What did I start with? Peter Blues. Alright, well. Alright, the body of my warning. Wait. Body, um, user not found. Yeah. 
Uh. Okay. Ah. All right. I mean, I need to stand up and walk around. Maybe make some tea. Ah. Uh. Okay. Uh, all right. Um... Do I really not remember the password for my... Debug account? Well, I mean, it might be just time to nuke it. <laughs> Why am I testing that anyway? Okay, so I am procrastinating on actually getting myself tea. Edit account information. Delete account. Nice. Um, what? Okay, I go get the tea. Uh, oh. I need the caffeine. Oh my God, Peanut's sleeping on my clean clothes. Peanut's sleeping on all my clean clothes. How could he? I mean, they're like all over the bed right now because I was midway through folding them, but. Ah. Delicious. Now they all hairy. It's okay, they were already hairy the moment they came out of the dryer. Did I put that there? <sighs> That's the last thing I needed there to be issues with it deleting. On destroy. 
Bind event, unbind event, on click, on activate result. Show confirm delete dialog. Execute delete action. Okay. Okay, well, th those are exactly the same now, so, fuck, um... Okay, so... I'm gonna put a to-do comment. After, oh, I gotta start with to-do, to-do. After, um, server update. This should Air four does not equal one. no. Else if listener does not equal no. I can't spell. All right, if it's the listener's not. List. Enner. Okay. There's two E's.
All right, well, how do I invoke the listener? Can I just run the listener? Slut? Whore? I can't just run you? Okay, um, it's a lambda, so... I think... Listener dot... On dismiss, um... I don't, I don't, I don't know what dialogue. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Right. Uh, yeah. Um. Uh, three, three, one. Uh. Hey, there we go. Can it can there not be knowable? Like, uh, can we just like, uh, is that okay? Can we do that? Mm. Uh, jolly good, chap, uh, jolly good. Uh, we're going to give that no cuz uh yeah, we're gonna give it no. It's, it's gonna be fun. I don't... Why does it need a dialogue thing? It doesn't need a dialogue thing. 
Oh, this is gonna blow up in my face or it's gonna go fine. It's one of the two. It's, it's just gonna be one of the two, you know? It's, it's not a big deal. It's, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure this will kill anything. I'm sure this isn't gonna be a revolutionary change. It's gonna fuck a bunch of shit up. Okay, um... Execute option delete task. Okay. Now, even though it's not being used, I should now handle it. So, in theory, that wait is control okay Please don't go horribly wrong. <laughs> All right, drag into. Uh, no safety.
Well, you didn't have to boot me. All right. I was code 400. Why did I get booted? Dragon 2. I think that might have been another debug account. Um. <sighs> Oh my god, it's Dixie. It's been forever. How are you doing? I'm debugging code. What's you up to? Hello! <laughs> it's been fucking ages, ages. It's been 50 years! I've been good. I've been trying to code. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Coding sounds confusing. It is confusing. It's like a giant puzzle of horrors. Mm. Hmm. You better speak English. So can I. <laughs> well, it's English. Okay, it said that that email was already taken up, so... I can't even type. That's the worst part. Well, I don't even know what happened that time. Server is down. Code 500. Huh. Well, that's uh, interesting. Um, is the server actually down or? Uh, generate barcode can return it. Account delete. Vote like. Profile picture. Barcode update. It shouldn't be returning that. Ruh ro raggy. Oh, wait, that's the actual HTML. Wait, let me... HTTP codes. Uh... 
HTTPS status code 500 internal server error. Generic message given when an unexpected condition was encountered and no more specific message is suitable. Uh oh. Well, Dixie, I got shit that is broken. Um, I broke it. <laughs> what am I gonna do? <laughs> oh no, at <laughs> the intestinal track. I hope you're. <laughs> GI track is not that bad. I'm sorry. That cannot be fun. That's good. Always good to take things if you can. I don't think the server's down. I think it's crashing. Mm -hmm. It's doing a mild crash. Uh, I don't remember how to check the server. Uh. Yeah, I'll do it. Thanks, Bash History. Um, hmm. What do I? I don't even remember, dude. What's up? Oh, a Pidgey. I love Pidgey. I like birds. I did it. Um, hmm. Uh,
Let's see. Well, there's something there. Just gonna have to like scoop this along the bottom so no one sees shit. Um. Okay. It doesn't like the format of the birthday. That's the issue. Not filling in the birthday is the issue. I thought that the birthday had an auto fill in. I thought there was a default birthday. Ah. Birthday is a f string. Um. Uh. Year. I have to go down a second? Bitch, no one's birthday go down that far. Um, 12 o'clock. Yeah. Uh, let's try that. I don't know what format the birthday's in. Month, day, year. Oh, so do I set the birthday at some point in the good old beginning here? Um, I 
as this. We do January 1st, year 2000. I feel like that's it's a good year. It's a good year for fuckers, yeah? It's the turn of the millennium. I was alive for it. I was four. I was just a small little goblin whore. Oh, I swimched. <sighs> All right. Um, let's try this again. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Like how the genderless for Japanese is actually called genderless. Then the English one's called request list. Okay. All right.
Okay, so email already in use. Uh Ah, uh, shit. Okay, I think I duplicated an email. That's a bit of a problem. <sighs> All right, we got sign up, delete, show. How do I update? All right, how do I update a Kanojo? Sign up, verify, current Kanojo show, oh my god. Where's Burka Kanojo? <sighs> okay. Um, what the fuck? Count job. Yeah, wait. Let's execute, delete, execute user modify. Password validation. Yo, there's an APOM in the chat. Silly little monkey. Little purple monkey with hands. Monkey moment. We're gonna go ape. We're going ape. Enter the Quitter and Steam Soul. Um, account update. There we go. What are you? Update. Well, that was close. Ow. Ow. We now have to go to couple therapy. Oh. Which is which is which is attacking me. Oh. Hey Palm got away. They threw beans at her. Uh, 
Yeah, I don't check if that email already exists when you chose change your email. Uh -huh. Okay. Found this song through an AMV for Fooly Cooly. FLCO. What Fooly Cooly? Whatever the fuck you call it. And it's fucking cool. Does anybody know if emails are cat case sensitive? Gnolis might know. I'll ask Gnolis. Or not? Okay. Do I make... They're not case sensitive. In that case, I'm gonna make sh doubly sure that everyone. Oh, I thought I had a password verification in here. I mean, no, I'm gonna space well, I don't need to have that. Oh, I do have password verification. All right, now. Can I help you, Peanut? I have to look up a Python. Lowercase shit works. Okay. Just dot lower. All right.
<sighs> I like camel case. But, oh, for fucking Python, right, right somewhere that you should be using a Discord okay? Me, 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 me. I got CSS as a big middle finger. Ooh. <laughs> ah. All right, no, 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 no. It's not equal. Query equals uh, yes. Just the user. There, that should verify. <clears throat> Email. All right, that should solve a uh, duplicate email problems. At least when I push the server code, which is always a pain in my ass, but eventually I'll get to it. Probably after stream, I'll commit the server changes. <laughs> One thing I noticed was that um, you can do this little thing and it will tell you the author of each line of code. And I thought that was very cool. And whoever like the main author is, their name will be up there. So you could see like the original server developers there for most of them. And then you got like this one where it's like me. Shout out me. I think there's a cut like one or two of them where it's like Gojer plus. Maybe. I think it might be who has the majority of lines. I think that's just cool though. That an interesting little way to give credit. And also you can see who to blame for <laughs> who made a certain line of code that fucks up, I guess. I know at my work. Oh yeah, see Gojo Plus. That means that I can't think of why I would have like changed that. Huh. <laughs> Alright, well I lost the fucking Okay, so I can no longer make duplicate emails because I just fucked that up already. So we have two corrupted accounts now. Nice. Um, Dragon should still be available.
Oh my god, Dr. Turtle subscribed for a cursed number of months. Thank you so much, Dr. Turtle, for subscribing for 13 months. That means so much. Thank you so much. You won't have to. But thank you for doing it. How you doing, Dr. Turtle? Yo. I signed in. I am getting my way through these fucking errors and bugs that I created for myself. Okay. I don't remember. Okay. Well, now that I know the password again, let's try it on a different device that looks exactly the same. Ooh. Error 404. Okay. Um there I can spell, I swear. Spelling is so hard. We want to know what sucks even more. <laughs> the, uh, not only my own spelling ineptitude, but the people who made the server, the person who made the server, uh, code and the people who made that original app code were not native English speakers, but they wrote the code in English. So... There's some really weird names and stuff that doesn't quite make sense as a name. Like, you wouldn't think, like, there's a function called clear, but what that does is it removes, like, unnecessary fields for security reasons. Which is... I wouldn't use the word clear for that. I feel like you could make a better. I think like there's better ways to help. We're like clean fields. I don't know. You know, I don't think I have either. This, which is kind of weird. Can you code in another language? That's a good question. Like, man. So, like, launch activity, right? Um,
Let's see here. All right, let's see. Oh, wait, let me move that actually. All right, let's run it again. I named a variable Watashi. The debugger says it's a valid thing. Huh. It doesn't... <laughs> Is it translating it? There. Does it have any special characters? Oh, let me. I reset my uh, font size as the default. So maybe you can help me find a size that lets me see the damn thing, but. It's previously I was on. Font size 24, and that's a bit, it's a bit big, but uh, yeah, it's Japanese. <laughs> it's not happy about it. And print watashi. Probably look at my own stream and determine if it's even legible. Yeah, that looks pretty legible, I guess. I'm full screening it, which is a little cheating, but it was at 14. How does 14 look? Eh, this is a little rough to read, I suppose. And if I extend both ends of the uh, Twitch UI, it becomes next to impossible. I always like shrink the like the left panel on Twitch because that likes getting more real estate for her. Uh, Watching my favorite streamers. But I don't exactly stream at the highest quality ever either, so. And we're up, because I purposely kneecap myself quality wise. And that, let's, uh, I don't know, when is the next uh, upgrade? Well, it says that the next closest thing is, well, if I can get 15 people chat, 15 different chatters to chat in, I think a five minute window is how that works. One count on that, but I am, what is that, almost 150 hours away from streaming a total of 1,000 hours. A thousand hours of my life dedicated to put, putting out this poo poo content. <laughs> Damn, it's been a while. I was streaming at 900p for a bit. Twitch has an achievement system, and I 
going from the lowest bit rate and resolution and frame rate possible in OBS to my computer's native. I set made a thing that calculates where along that graph I am, or that range. It's uh, kind of stupid, but I enjoy it. If you, I guess you wouldn't know, to, maybe you would know, see it on YouTube, but if you go to like my VOD channel and you scroll back far enough, you can see definitely that like, there is a point in time where I am very sub HD. Twitch does not have AV1 yet. I do not think AV1 is going to change much for me. Because I don't have a GPU that can encode it. Eh? I did try uh, encoding AV1 on my CPU once with the program and it was going at three frames per second for encoding. I don't know if it was like... <sighs> when it comes to AV1, it's going to really come down to how multi-core... Like, I'm going to have to CPU encode it. But like, how multi-core are the encoders? That's going to be the question. Because I got... Lord knows I got enough fucking threads. Wait. Yeah, I got enough CPU threads. I got CPU threads for fucking days. Is there a dark mode for task manager? Holy shit. Uh, it's gonna be a matter of whether or not the AV1 encoder can like use that. That's... Otherwise, I'm going to need, like, a, a newest uh, AMD or... I'm going to need a top-of-the-line GPU. And my little... My 2080 has served me so well. There's, like, a fucking video of some, like... Honestly, like, I tried so hard to get a 3000 series card because of my Micro Center upgrade program, but, uh, they just were never in stock. By the time that expired, it was... Well, only, like, I, you don't need top of the line, you just need, like, a newest generation. Because only the newer generations can encode AV1. And I'm sure by the time, I'm sure what Twitch is doing is they're biding their time to wait until AV1 is probably able to be commonplace. The thing is, I don't want to just buy a GPU to encode AV1. I would like to... Eventually get a GPU update, and I'm fine waiting until whenever. I'm sure when the RTX 6000 comes out, the the RTX 6050 will be like greater than my 2080. Hell, I can't even use the RTX shit on my 2080. Every game I try it with, it just fucking kills shit. Real-time ray tracing. 10 FPS is real-time. Peanut, why are you obsessed with going in that box? Would you like me to make you a box so you can go into one? Baby boy. Peanuts being a spoiled little baby. Are you being a spoiled little baby?
I am moving, so there are many cardboard boxes, and Peanut is like, oh, the cardboard. Oh, the cardboard. Okay, um, I forgot what I was working on. <laughs> Oh, I tried logging in with the other uh, on the other thing and it didn't like it. And it gave me a user not found. Oh my god, Peanut, you need to learn how to give up. Baby boy. Baby boy. <laughs> Babyest boy. Oh, you're, oh, you're pushing, no, oh god, baby. I can't seal this box yet, and I do not need you on my floppy disks. I do not need you on my floppy disks, baby. Why do you want to, you want to play with the floppy disks? I have many floppy disks and floppy adjacent formats. Uh, I think it was the last year that my took uh, my floppy drive off of my main computer and I was not happy about it. And I'm still not entirely happy about it. But I'm I'm living with it. I have a USB floppy drive if I really need something. <sighs> there's a cleffa in the chat. Litchy, there's a cleffa in the chat. Do you have anything on those floppy drives? Uh, King's Quest V. <laughs> Bunch of dumb shit from my childhood. You're welcome, husband. <laughs> this is great thing called transferring data. But what if I need to get data to a computer that doesn't have USB? Which is one computer and it's currently not booting for some reason. It turns off and then its battery light blinks yellow, or I mean it blinks orange and green, so something's wrong with it. Ah. Uh. I have silly little hobbies, Dr. Turtle. I have many silly little hobbies. Yo, we all got the Quaffa! Maybe I should just upload the server code now. Man, this song still hurts. I don't cry listening to it anymore, but God, it, it like, uh, it kind of hurts in like a deep place. <laughs> uh, oh God, it does hurt shit. Uh,
All right, I'm getting 404, which means user not found in this case. I don't know why it won't log in. That might be part of the problem. Wait, wait, where it was that one tonight? It's peanut. What you up to, baby? Mwah. You are so baby. Me and my over ambitious coding. I smooch you. I smooch you, baby boy. I love this cat. May you never have pea crystals because you're like allergic to the food that you would need to eat.
Mm. My baby boy. What is new password set to? It does hash the password, so I guess we're fine. All right. I think All right, I think I'm actually sending the data this time. Which I'm embarrassed to say was an oversight of like the greatest degree ever. <sighs> where did you look at, where did you look at that? What? Okay. Oh, all right. We logged out and logged back in on a different phone. That's pretty spectacular. Um. So it looks like this update's starting to wrap up. Thank fucking God. I've been working on it for like almost a year. <sighs> If not more than a year. This fucking piece of shit. Um, Let us see. If anybody has a raid redeem, now will be a good time to use it. Something popped up and it then immediately disappeared, so that seems like it shouldn't be happening. Uh. Is that something I can fix quick? Well, it might help if I was looking under the right activity.
Push up, baby boy. Oh my god, Peanut is such a baby. Oh, I love him. Alright, um... It's time to ra start wrapping this shit up. So, yeah. Bah. Oh shit, um... <clears throat> Ara ara, Doctor Turtle. Ara ara. <laughs> You're all very welcome. Um, I think we might continue the comfy train. You know what? Actually, Litchie just drew somebody, so we should raid them. I think. Let's uh, raid Litchie's friend Ichigo. Because Litchie just drew them today. So we finished the drawing of them today. So that would be very nice, I think. So, uh, thank you all for coming. Uh, yeah. I hope I will stream more. <laughs> I feel like I don't do a lot lately. So. Ah, peanut. Alright. See you, everyone. Bye-bye.